What Got You Here Won't Get You There by Marshall Goldsmith is a gold mine of insight. Goldsmith, an executive coach, walks you through his real world coaching experiences and interactions with leaders in some top organizations in the world, teaching the behaviors that make people successful and shows what holds them back. When moving up your own success ladder, this book will help you change the behaviors that keep you from moving from here, where you are, to there, or where you want to go. We will go through each of four sections in the book, highlighting some of the big ideas from each. Let's get started. Section 1. The Trouble with Success Goldsmith helps successful leaders identify bad behavior and then eliminate it. Behavior that has gotten them to where they are may not be the behavior that takes them farther. Successful people often fall under a success delusion, believing the positive reinforcement they receive from past successes is a predictor of success to come. But it can lead to resistance to change. Beliefs that carried us here may hold us back in our quest to go there. Goldsmith says successful people carry four beliefs. Beliefs that can make successful people superstitious about their success. Belief 1. I have succeeded. This is what successful people tell themselves. This belief is positive most of the time, but becomes an obstacle when change is needed. Belief 2. I can succeed. Successful people believe they have the internal capacity to make desirable things happen. They see a link between what they have done and how far they've come, even when no link exists. The challenge is realizing that at times they are successful in spite of their behavior. Belief 3. I will succeed. Another way to say, I have the motivation to succeed. They believe that they can manufacture success and consider it their right. This belief sabotages success when behavior needs to change. Belief 4. I choose to succeed. Successful people believe they are doing what they choose to do because they choose to do it. The more we believe that our behavior is a result of our choices and commitments, the less likely we are to want to change our behavior. This circular logic allows successful people to stay committed when times get tough, but gets in the way when they should make a change. To counteract these superstitions, pick a behavior and ask yourself, is this behavior a legitimate reason for my success or am I kidding myself? Section 2. The 20 Habits That Hold You Back From The Top we spend a lot of time teaching leaders what to do. Goldsmith says we don't spend enough time teaching leaders what to stop. 20 habits to stop. Quote, 1. Winning too much. The need to win at all costs. 2. Adding too much value. Giving our two cents too much. 3. Passing judgment. Rating others with our standards. 4. Making destructive comments. Sarcastic remarks that do more damage than good. 5. Starting with no, but, or however. Using these too much says, I'm right, you're wrong. 6. Telling the world how smart we are. 7. Speaking when angry. 8. Negativity or let me explain why that won't work. Sharing negative thoughts without being asked. 9. Withholding information not sharing info to keep an advantage over others. 10. Failing to give proper recognition. 11. Claiming credit that is undeserved. 12. Making excuses. 13. Clinging to the past, the need to deflect blame onto people or events in our past. 14. Playing favorites. 15. Refusing to express regret not admitting wrong or seeing how our actions affect others. 16. Not listening. 17. Failing to express gratitude. 18. Punishing the messenger. Attacking someone who is innocent and just trying to help. 19. Passing the buck. Blaming others, not ourselves. And 20. An excessive need to be me. Making our faults virtues. Section 3. How We Can Change for the Better Feedback is one of the many tools he suggests for changing for the better, but it needs to be honest and helpful. Goldsmith suggests Feed Forward, which requires leaders be open to suggestion. The people around you know how you can best change and will have ideas. This is a framework for workplace conversations that could and should happen, but rarely do. Here is how Feed Forward works. 1. 
Pick one behavior you want to change that will have a significant positive impact on your life. Two, describe this objective in a one-on-one -on -one dialogue with anyone you know. Three, ask this person for two suggestions that may help you make the positive change that you've chosen. And four, listen without judgment and say thank you. Section four, pulling out all the stops. Successful people avoid high-risk, low-reward situations and do everything in their power to increase the odds in their favor. But when people change interpersonal behavior, things can get fuzzy and the deck feels stacked against you. These eight rules can help successful leaders navigate the process of change. 1. You might not have a disease that behavioral change can cure. Sometimes feedback reveals a problem that is one or two steps removed from anything the individual is doing wrong. 2. Pick the right thing to change. Miswanting occurs when we discover that what we wanted did not make us happy. Choosing is different. Help people distinguish between what they want in life and how they choose to reach that goal. 3. Don't delude yourself about what you really must change. If you want to succeed at goal setting, face the reality of the effort and the payoff before you begin. Realize the quick fix and the easy solution may not provide the lasting fix and the meaningful solution. 4. Don't hide from the truth you need to hear. If we don't ask for critiques or the truth of our interpersonal flaws, then no one has anything to say. The truth may hit close to home, and then we'd have to do something about it. Find the truth and not the denial. 5. There is no ideal behavior. Benchmarking is great for teaching us to aim high, but no one is the best at everything. Pick one issue that matters and attack it until it doesn't matter anymore. 6. If you can measure it, you can achieve it. Measuring is the only way we can know for sure how we're doing. Everything is measurable if we're clever enough to see that it needs measuring and can devise a way to track it. 7. Monetize the result, create a solution. Incentivize people to change behavior. Financial rewards are one way. Monetize the punishment and end the problem. Or you can monetize the result and create a solution. 8. The best time to change is now. Busy? Overcommitted? Life feels out of control? Stop dreaming of a time when you won't be busy. Tomorrow may be just as busy as today. Ask, what am I willing to change now? You've just watched our summary of What Got You Here, Won't Get You There by Marshall Goldsmith. If you are a leader who is ready to get better and learn about the ways you could be holding yourself back from your own there, get this book now. We covered some of the big ideas, but the book warrants a thorough reading and ongoing practice. Leave a comment below this video to let us know what you thought about this book review. Thanks for watching.